Hello and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm know that the content is useful and promotes it to others. If you don't like it, let me know about it in the comments. If you still don't have a Star Citizen account, use my referral link in the description below or the code on screen to snag yourself some extra starting credits. Now on with the video. This video will cover some considerations to help you decide on your starting game package and gameplay loop. Once you've decided you want to start playing this game outside any free fly event, you'll need to get a game package. This is a special type of pledge that consists of a ship and an entitlement to play the game. You'll see this listed on pledges as Star Citizen Digital Download. Let me start by reassuring you whatever you initially choose, it's not a permanent choice. If you change your mind on what ship you want to play with later, there are options to change it, such as exchanging for store credit or performing an upgrade to another ship paying the difference. There will be more on that in a later video regarding melting buybacks and upgrading pledges. When deciding on your first ship, you'll need to make some decisions about your desired early gameplay loop. So what is it you want to try doing first? When you first get started in any game, there's always the question of what do I do? You can always just hop in your ship and go flying in some random direction just to see what's out there. If you're looking to make some money to be able to purchase components for your ship, like better weapons, more efficient engines to fly further and faster, or buy other ships, then there's a few common choices. Deliveries. Pick up box at one place, transport and deliver to another. It may include multiple boxes per mission. The only requirement is the ability to pilot a ship that has an area where you can place the boxes. Bunkers. These are ground FPS combat. The, the help assist in defending missions are great for beginners. Many times you can just show up virtually naked and the NPC cops will kill some of the enemy hostiles. You can then take their gear and weapons. You will usually have to finish off the enemies as the cops are pretty bad at their job and likely get wiped out before the enemies. Bounties. There are space combat and ground FPS combat bounties. You won't have access to the ground ones right away and will be restricted to the ship-to-ship -ship combat. This has an element of pilot skill involved, so may not be the easiest to get into right away. Investigation and search. These usually have no interaction with any hostiles. They primarily are the type of go here, read something, collect some info, report back. Mining. There are really only two types of mining currently. Hand or ground vehicle mining are grouped together as they target the same material and ship mining. For a beginner, you're looking at hand mining. The only requirement for that is a ship to get you to the material that you want to mine and a multi-tool with the mining attachment. Those can be found in many loot box crates scattered around outposts or purchased in many shops. Once you've decided what type of play you want to start with, you can then look at the ships capable of doing that. There are a few entry-level ships that are considered multi-role and are suitable for most of the gameplay loops. The two most common choices are the Robert Space Industries Aurora MR and the Consolidated Outlands Mustang Alpha. They give you the least expensive entry point into the game. You get a space flight capable ship with light combat capabilities. Both have some space for the ability to place delivery boxes for transport. The Mustang Alpha is external through a large box you have to lower and raise from the back of the ship versus the Aurora having an internal cabin you can put them in. Both ships have similar combat capabilities. Though the internal cabin of the Aurora is small, it offers a bed to utilize the bed logging feature where the Mustang Alpha does not. More on that in a bit. You can play all aspects of the game starting with either of these two ships, though you will need to do some missions to earn money to purchase other ships for the more advanced and difficult gameplay loops. A higher price pledge is not necessary. If, however, you have cash burning a hole in your pocket and want a little more edge, then these next two ships are notable mentions. They're pretty common alternatives as upgrades to the Aurora Mustang. The Anvil C8X Pisces and the Aegis Avenger Titan. The C8X Pisces comes stock with a little bit more firepower for aerial combat and still has the interior space for cargo and boxes. It also includes two jump seats for passengers to sit in, however, does not have a bed. On the other hand, the Titan has the largest cargo capacity of the typically considered entry-level ships and also includes a bed, but does not have any seats for passengers. A bed can be useful if you want or need to log out outside of a standard HAB location. Some less powerful computers may have trouble 
around the busy spaceport, so being able to just get up and hop in the bed to log out may be desired. Upon logging back in, you'll be placed back in your ship in the bed instead of your last visited spaceport. Another option is you can start with any starter package pledge and then do an upgrade of that ship to another that is readily available as a game package. If you decide you want to try other ships, there are options in game to rent some ships. You can also just ask in global chat if anyone has a ship that you want to try. Many players are friendly and will just let you borrow one to try it out. This goes for just about any ship in the game. Just be nice about how you ask. As I mentioned earlier, if you decide the starter package you got doesn't quite fit the gameplay style you want, you can either exchange it back for store credit to pick a different one, or perform a cross chassis upgrade, commonly just abbreviated to CCU, which upgrades from one vehicle to another. I'll be covering that process in another video. I hope this has eased any anxiety that you have about deciding which ship to grab. Good luck, and I'll see you in the first.